Well, Dan, PVUSD has a new administration and a new design for the athletic field project. And with the Watsonville Pilots Association on board, that vision will now allow it to take off. What that allows us to do is to um, not only have them to be supporting of the development, but actively support us with the other organizations as well. The Watsonville Pilots Association had safety concerns about the original plan that would have constructed a football stadium on nine acres of land right in the flight path of departing aircraft and planes circling for landing. They moved it to clear to the other side of the school out by Harkins Slough Road which was a major concession on their part. These are the latest design plans for the athletic field project, which calls for replacing existing fields with an updated size track and football stadium with press box and concessions. A 15,000 square foot auditorium is also in the plans for a variety of school functions to be determined. First, we made sure that everything that we're developing is within the footprint of the school. Um, in addition, we agreed to help with some vertical obstructions and some lighting so that there can be an alternate pathway. For years, the Pilots Association objected and threatened lawsuits against the original project. But now that there's an entirely different approach to the field project, they're working to help push it through. We will not be any kind of an obstacle to this. We will, in fact, be helping the school district in talking to the city, talking to the uh, Division of Aeronautics. We will be helpful in any way that we possibly can. And they'll need help because they need the okay from the California Coastal Commission, Caltrans Division of Aeronautics, and the City Council. But receiving support from the Pilots Association is a big move forward for this project. Dan? All right, thank you very much, Phil. Construction costs have jumped since the original plans and could now top almost $4 million for the project. Funding should come from Proposition 39 and Measure L funds. If all goes as planned, the district could break ground by spring of this year.